Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another Game of Nations Cup 2020 organized by FIDE and Chess.com platform. And uh, there are a lot of games every day. It's crazy speed uh, with, the, with these games, with this tournament, because uh, every day we have two games uh, and also uh, we have six teams and every team has at least four players playing. So altogether 24 games per day. So it's quite crazy uh, tempo and uh, I would like to show you one of the games from round 10. I have to choose some of the games, cannot choose of course uh, all of them. And we have Alireza Firuja who represents the rest of the world on the board number two. He's a 16 years old prodigy from Iran. Most of the people see him as the future world champion, uh, but definitely it's a still long way uh, for, for that. Uh, however, uh, he play in this tournament with the rapid ranking 2703 and in this game he's gonna play as white and his opponent veteran of chess Levon Aronian uh, from Armenia and his rapid ranking 2778 he's 37 years old and he's gonna play as black so without further ado Let's see what happened on the board. We have e4 by Alireza Firuzia, e5, and here first surprise, uh, Firuzia goes for a knight on c3. So it's not really popular move. However, uh, this is a Vienna game, and it's a very very sharp, a lot of sharp variation. So uh, it doesn't happen often in the top level, but we have a lot of games played on the top level as well especially during the you know rapid and blitz tournaments uh, we have knight on f6 by uh, aronian and here bishop on c4 what uh, firuzia could play is g3 a mises variation the most popular one uh, f4 kind of delayed king's gambit this is also possible or simply knight f3 and then we would have the russian game three knights variation so all of this is possible but uh, firuzia goes for bishop on c4 invites black actually to play uh, Frankenstein Dracula variation and can you you can probably imagine why it's called uh, Frankenstein Dracula variation uh, it's very bloody sometimes but it also can be played very calmly but it's a very rich opening uh, and uh, definitely the players should know what they are doing now the most popular move is the very silent knight on c6 and with very calm game however here we have knight on e4, so Levon Aronian say, okay, let's play uh, this Frankenstein Dracula variation and both sides have the equal chances, but both sides have to play quite precisely. And what would you play as a white in this position? That is a very important question because here uh, all the game here, all the tricks, it starts. So, for example, knight on e4 doesn't really work because uh, d5 and black stands better. Gonna get back the material, gonna get the center, gonna get the very easy development or pieces. So, not really an option. If bishop on f7, it looks pretty logical. Uh, then after king on f7, knight on e4, again d5. Uh, and black stands better, even even better than before. Uh, if black tries something, uh, you know, more calm, knight on c6, this would be very dangerous because queen f3 and now king has to go back to e8 and uh, white would have very interesting attack on the king and even more interesting is if the uh, black want to hide the king in g8 it's losing it's losing because knight g5 uh, winning the game okay checkmate is coming and black can do nothing about that if black takes the knight actually then we would have this beautiful checkmate so uh, this variation is full of the traps like this and uh, the sides have to be you know very very careful but as i said if they play correctly if they know what they are doing everything is is okay for both sides uh, but here what white should play is queen on h5 threatening the checkmate on f7 so uh, this is the main line here and black has only one response here knight on d6 defending f7 and also attacking the bishop 
bishop. Uh, and white can take on e5 right now or first bishop on b3 and then after bishop on e7, queen e5. This is what Alireza Firuzia did. We had the castle by Aronian and now d4, getting the space in the center. We have knight on c6, kicking the, the queen. Queen goes to f4 and now knight a5. So Levon Aronian want to just exchange this knight for the bishop, as this bishop is pretty dangerous on this diagonal. So better to just exchange. But Alireza Firuzia said, OK, but uh, you know, I like my bishop and he played bishop on d5. And okay, Aronian has to do something about his development, so knight on e8 is pretty natural here, uh, and now bishop on f3, not waiting for any c6 with tempo. Uh, we have bishop on b4, pinning this knight, and here uh, Alireza said, okay, I'm gonna help you to make a decision and play a3, so uh, black has to decide what to do, move the bishop, which doesn't make much sense, so of course we have bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, and here blacks go for d5 so fighting for the center controlling important squares in the center uh, we have knight on e2 by firuzia and c6 now uh, strengthening the center we have castle and now knight on c4 very nice outpost for the knight now knight can control very important squares uh, and it's not easy to develop uh, for the black bishop now, uh, so uh, Firuzia has to find the way. Uh, we have knight on g3, and here Levon Aronian has to decide what to do in the game. And he can, you know, uh, play, for example, knight e on f6, bishop d7, just develop, uh, queen e7, h6, maybe everything is possible, everything is okay, and he still stands better. However, he decides to exchange the queens. And he play queen on f6, asking Firuzia, okay, you want to exchange the queens? Uh, and Firuzia said, okay, let's do it. But if I exchange on f6, you're gonna get, you know, very nice tempo, so let's let me get that tempo and he play bishop on e2 and um, Aronian goes for the exchange so queen on f4 bishop takes on f4 with tempo and now knight e on d6 we have bishop on d3 placing this bishop on very nice diagonal pointing on h7 and here bishop on d7 but there is not really better square for this bishop here. Of course, bishop on g5 would be met with h3 and with the knight controlling h5, uh, the bishop would have to retreat. Also, bishop e6 blocking the open e file, not really great idea. This is why temporary bishop d7, this is the uh, okay move connecting the rooks. Uh, we have a4 by Alireza Firuzia, so he want to block the queen side uh, from developing, so planning for example e5. Uh, Levon Aronian said okay I don't like that idea he played b6 and here f3 so Alireza Firuzia plays uh, on the queen side then he play on the king side now f3 of course is preparing um, the move like king on f2 uh, we have rook f on e8 so um, getting ready uh, on the open file and here king f2 and this king actually controls um, the open file so black don't have uh, easy task you know to penetrate the second rank of the white position uh, we have f6 so levon aronian probably plan planning the same uh, and here h4 so here alireza firuzia starts to attack and levon aronian definitely should be uh, very careful here uh, it doesn't look like you know attack is very dangerous yet but look how easy moves uh, Firuzia start to do uh, to start this attack. We have rook on e6 preparing to double the rooks and now Alireza Firuzia goes for rook f on b1 suggesting Levon that he gonna play on the queen side now uh, and here Levon instead of just you know uh, double the rooks uh, he play very dubious move uh, g6 g6 uh, weakened the, the structure of his pawns even more after f6 now we have g6 and it's much easier to attack it so uh, alireza firuzia goes for that and he could play h5 uh, however first he want to prepare all his attack to be ready so he improves the position of the uh, of the pieces you know like top level master uh, he play knight on e2 first we have rook a on e8 and now 
G4. A rook from the 6th rank to the 7th. And now knight go back to g3, but we already have the pawn on g4, so uh, definitely h5 is coming. Uh, we have bishop on e6, and now uh, Firuzia goes for rook on h1, and only now he wants to play h5. Bishop on f7, so now uh, putting more pressure on h5. Uh, so Firuzia don't go for uh, h5, he play instead g5. And here, uh, if black want to, you know, for example, play f5, not really great idea, because after h5, king g7 exchanging these rooks, black would have the problems to stop the attack on the king side. Uh, so instead of that, Levon Aronian goes for f takes on g5. We have bishop on g5, and now rook is under attack. So where to move the rook? If Aronian want to play something like rook on e6, uh, he would lose the exchange because knight e2, knight f4 and the rook would be under attack and there is no squares for the rook to escape. So not really great idea here. Rook d7, this was played by Levon and here uh, Alireza start to uh, finish his attack. He play h5. Uh, knight on b2, now attacking this dangerous uh, attacker, because this bishop is supporting all the attack, so uh, that's very important move. We have bishop on e2, so Alireza don't want to lose uh, light square bishop once again in the game, and here probably the most natural move would be rook on e6, putting more defenders uh, on g6. Uh, and for example, after rook on a2, kicking the, the knight, knight b on c4, bishop goes back to c4 and the attack could continue. But in this position, actually Levon Aronian didn't go for rook on e6. He played bishop on e6. And I don't really understand the move here. Uh, what was the plan of Levon Aronian? However, I understand that he don't protect g6 anymore. And after kicking the bishop to e2, this bishop could be very happy. For example, h takes on g5, this bishop could take, you know, on g6 and very happy diagonal here and probably would solve all the problems. Uh, however, we have bishop on e6 and here uh, Alireza Firuzia said, okay, now I start to attack. So h takes on g g6, h takes on g6, and now uh, rook on h6 can be played, of course, but Firuzia first said, first, no any counterplay on the queen side, so a5. And what are you gonna do about that? If you take it, I'm gonna have the rook, uh, you know, on the a file, and you have to look at this, you know, attack from the flank. Uh, so Aronian play b5, so he locked the queen side, so he's not gonna have any counterplay there. Uh, and only now Alireza Firuzia starts to uh, attack. So we have rook on h6, and here how to defend the pawn. Not so easy. For example, rook on g7, bishop f6, now rook h7, and now the pawn can be taken, of course, because the, the king could go to f7 and win the material, so uh, not really great option, but rook a on h1, rook h6, rook h6, and the position of black is very, very difficult, so uh, Levon Aronian didn't go for that, he played king on g7. Uh, but this is even worse. Now we have rook a on h1, uh, and here, how to defend, how to continue defense. So, uh, the engine suggests king on f7, king on f7, and after rook on h7, king on f8, then rook h8, bishop g8, and now bishop c1, kicking the knight, knight b on c4, bishop d3, uh, and now black doesn't have much choice, uh, king on g7, trying to defend, uh, but now white would have to find the move rook from the 8th rank to h4, okay, preparing to attack g6. Uh, and for example, rook on e6, rook g4, bishop h7 defending the pawn, but now the problem is knight h5 with check. King has to move, so for example, king on g8, and now knight on f4, attacking the rook and attacking the pawn 
for the third time so winning the pawn and having very strong attack on the king uh, definitely winning the game uh, however we have bishop on g8 uh, and the continuation is very similar uh, in the game uh, however it's much shorter we have bishop on c1 immediately uh, and now knight b on c4 bishop on d3 and now rook on e6 and now white don't need to worry about maneuvers you know very long maneuvers simply rook on g1 because this rook is protected by the bishop okay uh, and now of course knight on h5 is coming uh, and also this pawn gonna gonna fall uh, g5 doesn't help because rook h5 and this pawn gonna fall on g5 so it doesn't really matter levon aronian goes for rook on f7 and here uh, a lot of things winning so for example knight on h5 is the best move here but rook on h6 is also possible uh, but alireza firuzia goes for bishop on g6 which of course is also winning and now what black can play uh, rook on g6 doesn't help because knight on h5 with check kicking the uh, the king so king f8 and now rook h on g6 now attacking the bishop uh, bishop h7 rook e6 now cutting the king look at this this beautiful attack and now uh, bishop on h6 is coming and not much to defense here uh, rook f5 but now knight on g3 this make the space for the king so uh, bishop on h6 would be not so effective but uh, knight on g3 and now rook is lost so white gonna win the exchange and the game uh, rook f7 then we have bishop on h6 and this is all forced king on g8 knight on h5 with check king h8 now bishop g7 with check king g8 knight f6 with check and now uh, black has no choice uh, rook on f6 rook on f6 and uh, yeah checkmate is coming so uh, if the bishop moves for example on c2 there is still a checkmate here uh, so definitely not this way uh, levon aronian goes for rook on c7 maybe making some escaping space you know for the king however we have knight on h5 by firuzia king on f8 starting to escape but now king h8 asking the king where are you escaping you're not gonna you know uh, leave the bishop behind you you're gonna lose this bishop and the game uh, and in this position levon aronian resigned the game and he resigned because uh, he cannot save this bishop uh, white in the next move gonna play for example bishop on d3 and then just win the material and uh, and the game so uh yeah that was the the game from the round 10 uh from the match between europe and the rest of the world and uh, team europe was represented by levon aronian here and the rest of the world by alireza firuzia and here are the uh, final standings after round 10 so team china and team usa are gonna play in the grand final europe was very very close but because of the games like this one for example they didn't qualify they were very very close but you know this is chess and in this tournament only two teams could qualify china and usa congratulations they're gonna play today for uh, winning this tournament and if you like frankenstein uh, dracula opening in the vienna game press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like and leave the comments if you have any interesting game a lot of games in this tournament if you found some you know some pearl uh, you would like me to cover then let me know in the comment section and if you don't want to miss uh, any others then uh, press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one